Hi, my name is Kelsey Meyer. I'm 28 years old and I live in Los Angeles, California. And I feel like I have a problem with stillness. One time Yogi told me, he was like, Kelsey, your personality is so much. It's just like you exhaust yourself. You do a lot at work. And then it's like, you're, you're also then hyper and you're just exhausting yourself. And I'm like, <gasps> You're so right. I've never had anyone in my life tell me that. Like, you're so spot on. It's like, he was telling me, you never give yourself time to recharge. You never give yourself that stillness and that's only gonna make you better. So I said, okay, Yogi, help me. How do I do that? It's not something that is in my nature necessarily. So we have a really fun time going through my apartment and he kind of tells me what's working, what's not. I've always had stomach issues. And I think that just comes from running so hot and being constantly revved up. Um, so yeah, Yogi helps me with that and I'm so excited for you all to watch this. So I'm off to Kelsey's house. She's told me she's suffering from some digestive and nervous issues. So I'm hoping to help her out today. So let's go meet her. Oh, hi, hi. welcome. Well, tell me a little bit about your routine. Wake up about 7.30, um, leave for work at 8.30. I'm there from 9 to about 6.30 and then home at 7 and then usually in bed at midnight. <laughs> it's too late, I know. Seven to midnight, what are you doing? Go for a walk, call my mom, okay. eat dinner, sometimes watch The Office and okay. or prep for um, kind of like- a lot of The Office. The Office is the best. <laughs> watch, or I'll, I'll prep for like the shows for the next couple okay. days. So it sounds like you're working over nine hours, 10 hours, mm. 11 hours, because you're also coming home and doing that. Yeah. So this is sacred space. Mm. When you come here, you want to be dropping all work. And then suddenly this becomes healing. Mm. Because if you bring your work here as well, then this becomes work and there's no healing. Right. 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 So the major thing we want to do is heal the digestion. If we heal the digestion, then your whole body will start to balance itself. Mm. But if you're nervous all the time, then you're not going to heal it. How we start the morning off is imperative because if we started off with coffee and then a shower and then we're just out the door, right. then the whole world has got our attention. Right. But if we slow down, no phone, no outer world, come to the mat, do some meditation, quiet time. Mm. That energy we take into the world will start to spread in work. Mm. Then you'll slow down when you're at work. Well, I see you're also breathing shallow and holding your breath a lot. Breathe, girl, breathe. Yes. <laughs> nervous people yeah. usually hold the breath and breathe really shallow. So then the nervous system is hyper because mm. the body wants breath. So breathing properly is when, it's not very popular, when the stomach moves out a little bit, chest moves out, and you take a full breath, and then you exhale slowly, right? So it's not, because that Short, that exchange yeah. leaves the body more nervous, right? Because the body really That depends. sounds right, yeah. So you want to feel like your stomach is expanding a little bit, your chest is expanding, and then you're letting the air out slower, right? You're allowing that, good oxygen that you just took in to stay in your system a little mm. longer so yeah exactly put your hand there inhale and now let it out really slowly there you go yeah what you want to do is you want this to start becoming your normal breathing mm. right you're retraining your whole system to breathe deeper mm. right so we call it deep breathing but actually it's normal breathing it should be how we naturally breathe. Hmm. So you want to start practicing that all the time. Okay. Right? And I promise you, in a week, you'll, you'll just feel lighter. Mm. Right? And much more energy in the body as well. Ooh. Yeah. Sign me up. There you go. So why don't we see what's in the fridge? Okay. The fridge. Oh, Let's okay. see. We got some... Coconut cream, this is my lifeblood. Okay. I use it in my coffee or my matcha. Mm -hmm. um, some arugula. Okay. Salad. <laughs> Salad, okay. yeah, some chicken, some sweet potato, blueberries. Okay. 
And then um, what's all this stuff in the door, yes, the fridge? The door, I have some bone broth, some tahini, apple cider vinegar. I got some kimchi for my <laughs> gut or sauerkraut. When you have digestive problems, you don't want to be eating cold things in general. Mm, to and the salad. So salad, things like that really don't sit well in the uh, stomach. It's not. All right? And then when you drink all these different types of cold drinks, mm. even they may be good for you. So the coconut water is fine. But what happens is it's cold, and the digestion, again, is Doesn't down. like it. Well, it gets Yeah, down, and I'll but... use it in my smoothies, which I'm sure you are saying no go to smoothies. Well, smoothies generally have too many things in them. Yeah. You know, so they're, they're not a great source of food. Um, and people kind of supersize them. Oh, yeah. You know, then you supersize a whole bunch of things, but your digestive system doesn't like it when you supersize stuff. It mm. likes it when you eat one or two things, drink one or two things, and then you... It can digest that. Okay, my time. freezer is a time capsule. Cool. So we got a whoa, lot of stuff. <laughs> whoa, whoa, <laughs> Got my beets, my Ooh. walnuts. Have you tried these? What's that? The best chocolate ever. Oh. It's from raw honey with a little cacao. Yeah, that's also not great for your digestion. But anyway, it's very concentrated chocolate. And when you have a digestive problem and you eat something which is concentrated, mm. the digestion doesn't like it. When you freeze stuff and then you defrost it, it's been through one process of cooking or uh, it's just been frozen and then you're de-thawing it, it loses so much nutrition. That's also why you'll eat more of something that's frozen because that true? it doesn't have as much nutrition. Every time you eat more is because you're not getting nutrition. Right? Mm. And then you crave more because you haven't satiated the body with what it needs. It needs. Are you not satisfied yet? You're not satisfied, and it needs all the food groups. Yeah. I feel like when I've cut out meat, I don't do beans well, so yeah, that's beans, my. Beans create a lot of wind yeah. in the stomach, so they're not yeah. for everybody. Yeah. But if you cook them in an instapot, it completely takes the air out of them, and then you can um, you can digest them. Huh. And if you put some ghee in there, which is butter fat or olive oil, um, that will help make. Ta da! E. Thank you. Yeah, you Put it around. in with the beans? If you cook it together with the beans, what happens is the air of the beans becomes soaked in the fat and then they're not so gassy. Who knew? Yeah. Because oil makes uh, something that's more dry, gives it some depth and some. Huh. Yeah. So no more frozen and defrosting food. I challenge you. Don't eat that stuff. Eat fresh stuff. Cook for yourself and you'll see the. Suddenly, the wow. amount of food you eat, the things you crave, everything kind of changes. Huh. So tell me about the nervousness and your sleep because there's mm. a connection between that. If I'm up past a certain time, I kind of get like a second wind mm. and then I can't easily get to sleep. Okay. So we need you to go to sleep a little bit before. So everything mm. needs preparation. Okay. So if you just stop go shower and then jump into bed or something, you're not going to get good sleep. Mm. What are you doing <laughs> an hour before you sleep? Um, recently, I really have been watching The Office. <laughs> People use TV as a, you know downtime, relaxing, but yeah. the problem is it gets you thinking, gets you stimulated, and then by the yeah. time you go to bed, you're actually thinking of The Office. Are you willing to kind of maybe an hour before start yes. to sit down, contemplate your whole day? You know that sounds mm. heavy. <laughs> <laughs> well, the reason we do that is we sit and we say, "How can I do my day better?" Mm -hmm. Right? If we just go day to day, day to day, we're not cognizant of what we actually did. We're kind mm -hmm. of on the rotator, just running, running, running. But if we sit for a moment, ten minutes, and we close the eyes and we just go through the day and we say, "What did I do today? Mm -hmm. What did I accomplish today? Was I peaceful today?" How can I do it better tomorrow? Then what happens is you have those aha moments of, oh yeah, why am I working so hard? Mm. What am I working towards? Because mm. I'm never going to get that time back. Mm. And if I'm making myself unhealthy on top of it, why am I doing that? Mm. So everybody needs to do that at nighttime. Because mostly just people watch TV, go to bed, get up in the morning, do yeah, it again. It's the same hamster wheel. Yeah. yeah. What would you say would be a good like bedtime to aim for? The sun's going down. 
it's starting to slow down everything. It's a good time to take a shower. Like I said, do some reflecting. Maybe around 9, 30, 10 for you. Because then on the flip side, we want you to get up earlier as well. Right. We want you up at, you know, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock. <laughs> because the earth is waking up at that yeah. time. And when you're rising with the sun and everything's waking, there's just an energy in the air. Mm. Especially if you sit down and you do breathing practices and some yeah. meditation. Suddenly when you go to work, you don't want to push yourself beyond the limits. Right. You want to work within the parameter of health, right. feeling good. I'm sure you get more done when you go in with you that. Get, yeah. I'm getting up at 4 o'clock in the morning. I'm doing all my practices. By 7.30, I'm starting to work. By 2, I've already nearly clocked in 8 hours of work. Right. By that time, I'm exercising. I'm taking the rest of the day doing other things. Mm -hmm. It's imperative you take time for yourself because work is never going to end. It's going to be a bits of work mm -hmm. you're going to do daily and then you're going to fit it in so that really should be a routine okay i know for me if i eat later too like closer to bed oh, that yeah. i'm screwed screwed you want to always go to bed fully digested mm. food should not be in your stomach right portions should be much smaller uh, night time mm -hmm. so ideally you want to eat somewhere around five or six o'clock and then be done with eating so i know you're getting you know, you're getting home later. Mm -hmm. So that portion should be much smaller. smaller. So sense. you want to eat lunch much bigger. Okay. Now the key is if you eat lunch earlier, you usually get a little sleepy. Right. Yeah. yeah. So again, you don't want to eat a lot, but you want to eat things that digest quickly. Mm. All right. Things that are a little bit more watery. Sometimes, you know, have soup, have purees, have vegetables, things like that, because in 20 minutes, 30 minutes, it's digested. It's digested. Got it. Then you'll have energy. That should always be the rule. Can I digest what I'm eating? We want to be sitting on the floor, you know, on the ground or on a mat. This is great. Why? Is it because that grounds you? Yeah, because you want the earth to hold you. Plus, this is pushing your spine forward. Mm. And when you're meditating, you want your spine forward, chest open, head up. You want to be in this position. This is my little sauna. It's like a red light therapy. Uh huh. And then you zip it up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. So when you're sweating, you want to sweat to the point that the body sweats somewhat, but you don't want to keep sweating. Got it. Because what happens is it's not about dehydration. It's about all the goodness that comes out of the skin itself. Oh. Right. All the oils come out of it. And then you get dry skin. And then you have skin problems. Oh, interesting. So we don't want to sweat a lot. You know, how much water do you drink? Um, oh, I don't have my jug. But I feel like I have like a 32-ounce mason jar and I drink mm -hmm. at least four of them a day, I would okay. say. Do you drink because you're thirsty or do you just drink because you think you should drink? I think kind of both. So drink when you're thirsty. Mm. Make that a rule, right? Mm. And then you'll see you'll drink a lot less. Everybody's drinking too much water. Really? Uh, yeah. And then what happens is you're peeing out all that nutrition that you just took from good food and everything. <sighs> water it doesn't hydrate the body. Mm. We are 80 something percent water already. Yeah. It's not about that. It's about lubrication of the body mm. through oils. And then it's what you eat. If you've had a drink at nighttime, you know, the liver mm -hmm. needs a little bit of help. That's why people think they're dehydrated, but you're not actually. It's my wine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, a tip there is if you drink at nighttime before you go to bed, at least hopefully an hour before, mm -hmm. um, drink some water just yeah. to dilute it, give your liver um, a little bit of help, and then go to bed. So your house is really tidy, which is amazing. Thank you. Yeah. So I want to leave you also with some herbs for you to take. Nice. So this is ashwagandha. Okay. So this is for the mind. It Calms have, you down, it, right? Yeah, it's yeah. in liquid form. You can just take mm. a few pumps of it whenever you feel a little bit more anxiety, mm. just to narrow it down a little bit. Okay. So you don't need to keep taking it either. Mm. It's not like you know something you need all the time. It's just really some relief, give the body some help, because you never want to do the job of the body. You want the body to do its all job. Right. So it's not like a sedative or anything like that. Right. And then the other thing I want you to take at nighttime is, is trifola. Trifola is an Ayurvedic formula, three, uh, three different fruits. Mm. Again, it's in liquid form. This will cleanse the stomach, 
bring the pH down, the acidity like down, and then help uh, cleanse the intestines as well. Nice. Yeah. But your routine is what's yeah. really going to help you. Right. And less frozen food. Less frozen food, routine, routine. bed earlier, up earlier. And preparing, sitting, yeah. contemplating your whole day mm. before you go to bed. And then try and start to get up a little earlier with the sun as well. Yeah. And then doing some practice in the morning. Mm. That's going to bookend your days with practice in the morning, stability, grounding, practice at night. And then suddenly your days are going to go smoother. Mm. You're not going to be as anxious. That sounds right? nice. Anxiety needs lots of speediness. And if you slow everything down in that way, you, you just can't be as anxious. Mm. Right? So you, the environment may be anxious, but you're not anxious. But my mind is clear okay. and happy. Alrighty. Thanks.